We are told to calculate the amount of homework required for the foundations and also prepare a take-off bill, a take-off sheet, and a bill. We are given the columns. The columns are like this, the foundation. Uh -huh. We can see it it's this way. We have the 50 millimeters lean concrete at the bottom here. Then we have concrete that is 300 millimeters. Then we have stirrups that are 150 by 225. We have the concrete below here, 300, the stirrups which are 250 by 200. Then uh, for the plants, for the foundation plants, uh, this concrete is 900 by 550. This one is 850 by 1250. All right. So uh, we are told to measure the formwork in the foundations. So uh, for the formwork, how do we calculate the formwork? So it shall be sawn timber of 38 millimeters thickness to sides of foundation. You see the sides, they are all around uh, the foundation. Our foundations, uh -huh, we have... You see, uh, this one is 900, this one is 550. This one is 850 and 1250. So, uh, to get the area of the formwork at the sides, we shall take, like this one, 900. Then, we multiply by the thickness of the concrete. Because we are finding the formwork. Thickness is 300 plus 50. It's 350. All right, so it shall be 900 times 350. Then we have 10, 10 uh, such columns. Then we have two sides because uh, we are saying two sides because uh, we have this side and this side. Mm -hmm. So if we have this side and this side, uh, they shall be two, two sides and 10 columns. Maybe there are 10 columns or 10... This one, this one looks like the the footings of the columns. So we are finding the formwork for that one. For this width side, it shall be 550 by 350 times 2. Okay. So uh, we shall put it here. 10 times 2 sides, 0 0.55 and 0 0.35. So the areas of the formwork shall be like that. So, um, we go to the other foundation, which is sawn timber of 38 millimeters thickness to sides of foundation. Alright, so how do you calculate the area of those uh, sides of the foundation? So, there are 10, 10 foundations. Then, we shall come taking one side at a time. You see, uh, this one side, which is long here, it's 1250. So, it shall be 1.25. 1.25 times 350, okay? Then we come to this other side, from here to here. How long is it? 300 plus 200, 600 plus 150, 750. So it shall be 750 by 350. Then, uh -huh. 300 plus 200 plus 150, 650. 650 by 350. And there are two sides. Then uh, we shall come to this other side here 300 plus 200 250 550 plus 300 850 so it shall be 850 by 350 then what about these sides that are diagonal we can can we be able to find this hypotenuse we can take a you see if we have the length here it will be a and here b so we can calculate c all right so 200 squared plus 200 squared square root we shall get this length the same as here. So, if we get this length, we multiply by 350 times 2. So, it shall be like that. So, it shall be uh, 1.25 by 0 0.35. We get the total area. 0 0.65, we get multiply by 0 0.35. We get the total area. 0 0.28, we multiply by 0 0.35. We get the total area. 0 0.28 is coming from the hypotenuse. If you take 0 0.2 squared plus 0 0.2 squared square root, you get 0 0.28. So this one, multiply by 350, there are two sides, you get total area. So the other one, 0 0.85 times 0 0.35, you get the total area. So if we add all these areas of formwork, we shall get the total formwork for the foundation. We shall take 6.3 plus 3.85 
plus 4.38 plus 4.55 plus 1.96 plus 2.898 we get the total area which is 24.02 now shall be taking off the amount of formwork required to do a slab the plan that we have today uh, the length is 4 meters and the wind is 3500 uh, this section is uh, the column size is 400 by 180 there are two columns eh? uh, you see the length starts from here to here this 4000 it's from the center of the column to the center of this column the depth of this concrete for the column for the slab is 250 millimeters all right so and you are to note some timber is 38 millimeters thickness so the thickness that the timber was uh, cut into is 38 millimeters so if we have one timber measuring like this one one is 38 millimeters so if you want to know how many you just take the depth then you divide by 38 anyway let's start with the takeoff when you are taking off for the slab what do you do uh, we want to know the formwork that will be used for the slab. You know a slab like this one, we shall use formwork all around it. Then we shall use formwork below there, the soffits. You see from here to here, this is the soffit of the slab. When you stand below the slab, when you look up, this side that was held by the concrete, held by the formwork, it's called the soffit of the slab. So all this area where we have no columns, we shall have some formwork. So now we shall go ahead and take off the slab. So, uh huh. Uh, the stone timber for 38 millimeters thickness for sides of the slab shall be, uh, you see, the length is 4 meters, the depth of the concrete is 250. So it shall be 4 and 0 0.25. Two sides, because it's on the length, the length is 2. So two sides, two lengths, 4 meters by 0 0.25. We get the total area is 2 meters squared. Now for the wind, it is 3.5. The, the thickness is 0 0.25. So to get the areas, it's 2 times 3.5 and 0 0.25. We get the total area is 1.75. So if you add the 2, it shall be 3.75 meters squared. Alright? So we shall go to sawn timber of 38 millimeters thickness for soffit of the slab. What, how do we measure the soffit of the slab? Uh, the soffit of the slab, uh, we have, you see, um, this one is four, 4 meters, but 4 meters is from the center here to center here. Below here, we are supporting the slab from here to here. So we shall take 4 meters, then we deduct a half of the column here and a half of the column here because what we are interested with is from here to here. So 4,000 deduct a half of 180 and a half of 180 so it shall be oh it shall be a uh, four meters deduct a half of 400 this column is 400 then the other side is 180 400 180 so it shall be four meters you deduct a half of 400 a half of 400 a half of 400 for here it's 200 times 2 okay so it shall be 400 so 400 4000 divided by do you deduct 400 shall be 3.6 so th this is what you get eh? 3.6 what about the length you see the, the the column dimensions is 400 by 180 so if it is 400 on the length side for the wind side it shall be 180 so for the wind it shall be the dimensions from center to center is 350 we deduct 2 times 0 0.18 divided by 2 all right because we are taking a half of 180 times 2 we get 180 so that is 600 millimeters deduct 180 millimeters you get 3.32 so the area of the formwork at the surface of the slab shall be 3.6 for the length for the yes for the length and 3.32 for the width so the total area shall be 11.93 uh, meter squared all right
so <clears throat> when we come to uh, putting it in the bill of quantities, we shall write form work item one sewn timber of 38 millimeters thickness for sides of slab. The, the total area for sides of slab in square meters. Then uh, the total area, this one is sewn form work 38 millimeters thickness for soffits of slab, the total area. So if we add the two, we shall get the total area of form work for doing the slab. So we have supported the form work. The slab are the sides because to hold the concrete in place for that thickness, then we have supported the the concrete below there, the soffits. All right. So uh, when we get this one plus this one, we get the total area of the of the slab. All right. So we are done with taking off uh, formwork for the slab.